Thanks for watching. And now we proudly present a Disney Travel on Demand original program. Tonight is January 22nd, our first ever Disney's Pirate and Princess party. After planning it for two years, we're just anxious to get it on the street and see what our guest reaction is. I'm hoping for the best and, and feeling pretty good about it. I'm afraid to get too cocky about it because the minute I do that, like something disastrous happens. We are in the middle of transition right now. We have decorating teams throughout the park. We have our lighting and audio teams throughout the park all getting ready for Disney Pirate Princess Party. <laughs> it works. <laughs> okay, folks, opening night, opening night. Uh, just looked at the radar. We may have some weather issues. If it does rain, it's obviously going to impact a lot of our shows, uh, potentially the parade, the fireworks show. Um, so we're a little concerned about it right now. We will still put the party on. We will do what we can. We will hopefully get a parade out the door. Hard to say what's going to happen. You think you know what's going to happen, but every once in a while there might be, you know, something that you hadn't planned on. We determined in talk with Tara that anything other than a light rain, the games will go down completely. Right at 7.30 it just came down hard and heavy and pretty much all our entertainment had to go inside or we had to cancel and so that just kind of breaks your heart a little bit. I could not believe it was actually happening. Well, they're over it. You know, they just want to go home and get some sleep. It's scary because there's certain things that you just you can't control. Just in time, it started to clear up, and so we were able to start pulling out the floats and loading everybody up. We were like, yes, 8.30 parade, yes! But of course, it was still very wet um, on the route, so we were trying to dry that out. We stepped off, I think, a little bit late on the first parade, and then it started sprinkling again. But once we're out, we're out. You know, we roll. We had some challenges. We had a float get temporarily delayed, but we kept going and our, our cast kept going, which I'm so proud of them because they must have stayed in one spot and did the, their routines about five or six, seven times in a row. And, uh, and we're great every time they did them. We've seen both the day and the night parades before, but this, this parade was just fantastic, just spectacular. That's what we offer. That's what we want to give to our guests. It's something that they've never seen. They can't get it anywhere else. They can only get it here. There were um, these pirates. They were like ghost pirates. They were like dancing along the street. One came right up at us. It was scary. And Tinkerbell! Yes. Never seen Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell was there. She was never in the parade. Right. Ever seen Tinkerbell? Yeah. You never get to see Tinkerbell. They, they make magic, and it was just, it was amazing. It was so much fun. So, so, so much fun. It was pretty awesome, because we do this a lot, and when, every time we see it, you kind of forget the fact how wonderful it is to see it through the guest's eyes.
looks amazing. A panoramic view. I mean, it was you had fireworks behind you, fireworks in front of you. It was, oh, it was wonderful. The music, along with the stories, it was it was fantastic. anyone. I was so scared about everything around me. I don't think he had any idea what he was in for. I was waiting for any time them to be like, you know, maybe you're just not ready for this. You have to ask yourself, is this important to me? Am I going to go the extra mile? Am I going to do what it takes to get through this? I knew that if I quit, you know, why, why did I move to Orlando and why did I audition for Disney if I quit? So, you know, I had to prove to myself and my family and of course Disney that I could do it. The next rehearsal that I came into, he was like 15, 20 minutes early and he was running a place and he'd been lifting weights and, you know, jumping up and down, trying to build up his endurance. That just said to me, this is where he wants to be. This is what he wants to do. So, you know, we gotta make sure he keeps doing it. Dreaming about it when I was a kid, I just, I always thought I would never be old enough. It seemed so far away and so unattainable. Everyone's been so great and you know they've taken me under their wing. I've proven to myself and hopefully to them that you know I can do this and I I've grown as a person, a performer. I'm so happy it's it's dream come true and I just can't wait to see what's next. It's a tremendous sense of accomplishment that after all this time and all this hard work and all of the folks that put put this together that we actually pulled it off that it happened, that people came, that they enjoyed it, that they're gonna remember it. That's, it's, that's why we do what we do. I am very honored to be part of the opening team for Disney's Pirate and Princess event. And knowing that this event is gonna continue and grow and build for years to come and for me to be able to look back at it is really gonna be one of the best memories I have. Yeah, it was kind of a legacy that we leave. I think we've done some things in this parade that we haven't done. And I think we've raised the bar. It's not just about what we do, but it's also about what we aspire to, the story we tell, the story we create. There's nothing more that you can say other than, wow, you guys did it. We all did it. We made the magic happen. Even more dreams will come true during the 2008 Disney Dreams Giveaway. Like an overnight stay in the Cinderella Castle, magical dream fast passes, and other surprises. Becoming the Grand Marshal in Disney parades around the globe. And for the first time, an overnight in the park stay in the Disneyland Dream Suite. It all starts January as part of the year of a million dreams at the place where dreams come true. Visit DisneyParks.com.